CM Punk comes out for a promo. Talks about MJF's promo from last week and how he's con- he had been convinced Max was the bad guy until a week ago. For him to bear his soul like that to courage, I do not think he had, he says. I don't think Max is lying. I believe those things happen to him, but I don't know if it matters. He talks about the famous picture of a young MJF meeting CM Punk at a signing. Then he talks about the other famous picture of a young CM Punk meeting Steve Austin at a signing. And then one day Steve Austin took his ball and went home. And CM Punk did not lash out and do horrible things. I have seen Max lay out Dean Malenko who is suffering from Parkinson's, he says. I have seen him bury the late Brian Pillman in his hometown. I have seen him say awful things about Darby Allen's uncle. It's further proof, he says, that hurt people hurt people. This whole thing started when Max offered him a handshake and Punk turned him down. He doesn't know if he's responsible for, for creating all this. There's nothing he can say about it. There's nothing he can do. But he needs the Max from last week to come out here. You know, I uh, will interrupt you momentarily just because I want everyone's thoughts on this. This promo that he cut, did you read that uh, CM Punk Esquire interview? Did I? Yeah. Uh, I don't recall. Mm. Was it recent? Yeah. It okay. Was then. Very, it was this week. That's okay. why I bring it up now Then no. I think about it. Yeah. But uh, he talked a lot about uh, this period when he walked away. And, you know, what fans thought about him and how depressed he was and how he took a lot of his frustrations out on A.J. Lee. Oh. And I'm listening to this interview here, and I was like, did they fucking plant that Esquire story? Because if you read that story and then watch this interview, it's like, huh, how about that? So anyway... I wonder what happened there. It's very convenient. Could have just been a coincidence, but it seemed very convenient. I suspect when you deal with the truth, you'll find the truth overlapping. Well, sure. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, when he brought up the line about hurt people, hurt people, I was like, you just were fucking talking about that in that interview. Yeah. So Max comes out, and it does look like Max, not Maxwell Jacob Freeman. He appears to be the same person we saw in the ring last week. And Punk then begins to talk about the horrible things he has done. He did not mention A.J. Lee, but he mentioned pouring alcohol down an alcoholic's throat. He covered a wrestler in his manager's ashes. He mocked another wrestler's addiction until that man lost his job. He says, listen, I know all that hate you have inside, I had it too, but all that hate will burn you up. This is bigger than you and me. This is about the 11-year-old kid who looks up to you like you looked up to me. I ask myself if I'm the good guy, and all I can say is I'm trying. And he offers a handshake, which again is how this whole thing started. Max offered a handshake, and Punk said no. So Punk's finally offering one, and Max is reluctant, and finally gives him a big old hug. And CM Punk is caught very much off guard. He doesn't know what to do. And after a long, awkward pause, he finally hugs Max back. And the place is cheering and happy. Everyone thinks it's so swell. And then, of course, that bastard MGF hauls off and punts Puck in the, punk in the balls. T- uh, hits the pile driver of the ropes, tears off the dresser he has on. He is wearing a t-shirt that has that photo of himself and Punk on it. Couldn't help but notice it's a white shirt, and he's wearing white pants, and Punk shirt was also white. I can see where this is going. So he calls out the pinnacle, and uh, I know... We have not reviewed a Bill Watts show in a while, but Bill Watts always used to deal with there'd be bad guys doing something heinous in the ring. And guys would come down the ramp to try and save, but there'd be other bad guys fighting interference. They did that spot here. As FTR was on the ramp beating up security dudes, whoever else comes out, and Wardlow and Spears and Max are beating up Punk, and he punches him with a diamond ring, and Punk bleeds more here than I believe I've ever seen him bleed before. By the end of the last shot of this, he's on the floor, and he's... Like the cuts on his forehead, you're watching blood pour from the front of his nose. That's a lot of blood. It gets all over his shirt and Max's shirt and Max's pants. And finally, Max cuts a promo. You stupid, stupid old man, he says. I am a snake. Quotes the, uh, uh, oh God, what's that movie? Uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome movie to have to look up now. You, uh, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist with Kaiser Soze. Christ. Fuck, this, this saying has been around for 300 years. 
Dave, Dave attributed to Jake Roberts the other day. The usual suspects. Yes, I'm sure it's around decades before that. Right. So he promises a revolution. He's going to show that he's the devil himself and the... They've got the dog collar on, and they're hanging him over the ropes. And he's bleeding everywhere, and Max is still punching and kicking him and kicking him. And finally, staying in Darby Allen and Sammy Guevara are there to make the save, and the blood is pouring out of Punk's head. And we go to break. This was unreal great. I know a lot of people are waiting to see what Lance is going to say about this Monday. Wait, is Monday Tuesday? Tuesday Figure Four Daily. You can check it out. And so I saw. I saw some people say. This proves Max was lying last week. The no, whole thing. no, no, you're wrong. Absolutely not. Listen, everybody. Yeah. Yes, to a degree, CM Punk did come off as a geek. Okay, but you know what? If you watch pro wrestling, it's awfully hard to not have a baby face come off as a little bit of a geek. Okay, unless you what you wanted was for like CM Punk to just come out and go, "Fuck you! I don't believe you. I'm gonna attack. Yeah. You. I'm just gonna jump you and attack yes, you." Yes, being a good person means occasionally leaving yourself vulnerable. Yes, and what happened was. He came out and he said, he said, I think it's possible this guy is gaslighting us, okay? He did not come out and just be a totally naive idiot. He was like, I'm not sure that I trust this guy. So he does his promo. He brings out Max. And, uh, you know, he he talks to him. And he offers a handshake. And MGF hugs him. And he did not immediately hug him. At first he was like, what the fuck's this guy doing? And uh, as a fan, I can believe that this CM Punk character, after being hugged for about 15 seconds, thought, if this fucking guy was going to do something, he'd have suplexed me by now. Mm. So I'm going to pat him on the back, you know? And then, yes, Max booted him in the nuts. And yes, at no point did MJF reveal that he was lying no the story and the announcers explain this as well the story is that everything that he said was true okay that's his origin story so to speak Mm -hmm. but he is he used that story to lure punk into a trap yes Everything he said is true. He hates this fucking guy. This guy walked out on him when he felt... And he's blaming CM Punk. He's blaming Punk leaving for his own good. Mm-hmm. That is is a crime to MJF. MJF's taking that personally, okay? And he is acting out as a result of it. And he, is, he still hates this guy for it. He's hated him for a decade. And uh, now he lured him in to kick him in the balls, bloody him up, choke him half to death, hang him, because he's a horrible, fucking disgusting person. Yes. That's the storyline yes. here. Which means one of these days, if this guy ever turns babyface, you can go back to the story. Yes. Because it's true. The thing is, because CM Punk talked about it, and I, and never, I never thought about including this, and the whole thing worked out perfectly. But the Punk Austin fo- uh, photo and how Austin walked out and how CM Punk says, listen, my hero walked out. I didn't start. To... That's not why I did terrible things. And he talked about being responsible for his own actions. He admitted later he had done awful things and he's trying to do good things now. And it goes back to what I said last week. MJF and CM Punk are not gimmicks. They are characters. No. And one is a bad person. Yes. Who did, well, one person is a person who did bad things. Per- yes. But now they're trying to be a better person. Yes. The other is a bad person who had bad things happen to them, and they're lashing out on yes. someone who had absolutely nothing to do with it. Yes. CM Punk did not throw quarters at MJF. No. He did not call him Jew boy. No. He didn't do any of that. He left for his own health and safety, and MJF was like, fuck you, you left me. And I'm going to make you suffer for a, for a decade. A good person, which is what CM Punk in this story is right now, when bad things happen to them, they try to make sure those bad things never happen to anyone else. A bad person, when bad things happen to them, makes sure someone else must pay. Yes. If this shit happened to me, I'm going to make sure it happens to you. Yes. So, anyway, this whole thing was just a beautiful, wonderful television. Just fabulous stuff. He's lighter and he worked the whole match. Yes. <laughs> Bug fly in your mouth? I missed that. Jared, can we get a replay? Was that on film? I swallowed a bug. I hope ah. it was that big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and you explain. I ate a bug. She's cackling. She's never, I've never seen her so happy.
<laughs> What's just... God trying to tell me when I was in the middle of that speech and a bug flew in my mouth? Talk less? I guess. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. There's not a meaning in everything, dude. Sometimes bad things just happen for no reason. A bug flew in your mouth. You think you, think you, you think it was bad? How do you think the bug feels? If I'm walking down the road and I see a giant mouth, I'm not going in it. <laughs> right? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.